Hello everybody, it's Emily. I am back with a video. So I just kind of wanted to do a little something different. So um, times is hard and this is a low income channel. So I wanted to do, uh, just give y'all a grocery haul and how I'm making it with inflation and with things growing up, um, going up. So I have a deep freezer here, you know. So before I went to the store, I did shop my deep freezer for, to see what I had on hand and so these items here are just things to add on to what I already have and I'm gonna make my meal stretch for the next week um, I do grocery shop bi-weekly I shop for two weeks um, and so I did budget out a hundred dollars for groceries for this paycheck but I ended up just spending 60 and the rest of the money I'm gonna roll it over towards paying off credit cards and debt so I wanted to keep my grocery budget uh, cheap get it cheaper for this two pay uh, weeks because like I said I am in the process of paying off debt and paying off my credit card so whatever extra I can save then I can put in that particular envelope I can put it towards something else so I just wanted to share with you guys what I had picked up to make it last for two weeks um, so I went to Aldi's and I'll show you all the things I got from Aldi's first so I picked up eight yogurts here. This is just regular yogurts. Got strawberry, peach, and strawberry banana. And these are 38 cents a piece. So it came about uh, $3 and some change for all eight. Then I purchased um, some hamburger buns to go with these chicken patties that I have already in my deep freezer. So I'm just gonna show y'all. Don't judge my deep freezer, y'all. So I purchased it to go with these spicy chicken patties and I done dropped them down in the deep freezer. But I purchased the, the hamburger buns to go with these spicy chicken patties that I have here. These are really good for like a quick dinner or for a lunch. And on the picture they have them on a hamburger bun with lettuce and tomato. So yeah, that, so I got those to have for lunch or for a quick dinner. Um, that way, you know, it's always good to have something like that on hand. That way you don't have to go out and buy fast food. Okay, so I got some lunch. I mean, I got some sandwich bread here to make toast in the morning, strawberry toast in the morning. Or you can make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for lunch or ham and cheese sandwiches, whatever, you know. So that, that's good. And like, like I said, we're on spring break this week, so we're going to be eating at home majority of the week. Um, my daughter won't be here, but I'll be in and out. So I'm going to try not to eat out as much um, as possible. I picked up some Chiquita bananas. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use these bananas to actually make a banana pudding, you guys. My daughter and boyfriend requested that I make a banana pudding. So that's what I'm gonna do with those. They're green right now, but once they get a little bit more ripe, I'm going to make the banana pudding. I picked up these green onions here. I'm gonna use to season my rice up because I'm going to make, try to make me some uh, General Souls chicken tonight, so. Um, I, I've been wanting Chinese y'all, but I've been trying to save my money and not eat out as much. So I, I did have a frozen bag of the chicken and the sauce from Aldi's. So I'm going to cook that with the rice. I'm going to make some brown rice, throw a little bit of this onion in there to season it up or whatever. And then we're going to have, I'm going to have broccoli, some steamed broccoli on the side. Uh, so that, that'll kind of give me that little fix for Chinese food or whatever. Um, I picked up this bag of um, lettuce, uh, not lettuce, but salad, uh, because my daughter may not want to eat the Chinese food. She's kind of on the picky side, so she might be having soup and a salad for dinner instead. Okay, so then I picked up, sorry, I went over the broccoli crowns. I love fresh broccoli, y'all. I just steamed this just a little bit, not to where it gets too soggy, but oh my God, it's so delicious. Um, so that's my vegetable choice. I picked up a half a gallon of whole milk. Um, I don't really drink milk a lot, but, um, my daughter, when she wants cereal, we have it on hand. We don't really go through a lot of milk. So a half a gallon, sometimes we don't, I, sometimes this will even spoil on me y'all. So, um, I got that just in case I want to have a bowl of cereal or if, um, I need to cook with it because I do plan on making a homemade macaroni and cheese and I need milk, butter, and eggs. So I did pick up some uh, fat-free buttermilk. 
I am going to be making some cornbread and I need buttermilk for my cornbread. So I picked that up. I picked up some sweet cream butter. I put up, picked up two uh, quarts of ice cream here. So what I have here is, I have I me mean, half a quarter of ice cream. Uh, what I have here is I picked up butter pecan and I picked up cookies and cream. Y'all, this haul, I'm gonna give y'all this one. Ain't nothing healthy about this haul. It might be a couple of healthy items in here, but I'm just adding on to the stuff that I already have. So don't try to comfort me with like, oh yeah, haul is so unhealthy. Mind your business, because I didn't ask you for your opinion on what's healthy or not. But anywho, we, we gonna do what we do over here. We gonna do what you do. So anywho, um, so I, then I picked up cookies and cream, ice cream. Um, this is for a sweet treat after dinner. And, you know, ain't nobody going to no ice cream parlor right now spending no six, seven dollars on no scoops of ice cream. So I, I think these are still a dollar ninety five each for Ed Audi. So cookies and cream for Ashton, butter pecan for me. I picked up this orange juice here. We need some orange juice. Then I picked up some fruit. My set my daughter trying to eat more fruit. So I did I picked up this uh pear slices in pear juice so it is it's not in syrup so it is in pear juice i like pears too so i'll put these in the refrigerator to get on cold and that's a nice little sweet treat okay so i don't really buy a whole lot of convenient stuff but there are times where i don't want to cook so i do have buy a few things as convenient because this kind of stuff right here y'all adds up so i only buy just a little bit of it just because I need to have it on hand so I don't have to go to fast food and I don't feel like cooking. So I got this broccoli and cheddar soup cup. This was about $2.79. Uh, the uh, broccoli and Panera uh, soup is really good, but I really want to find a good comparable recipe to make my own at home. So holler at me in the comments if you know a good uh, recipe comparable to this that I can make at home, preferably in the crock pot, you guys. Okay, because I have a crock pot and I don't utilize it, but I want to start utilizing it more. Um, I did pick up one of these Lunchable kits for Ash, and I do not try to buy a whole lot of these. But she, like I told you, she's becoming more picky with food. So I do know that this is one item that she likes. And like I said, we're on spring break, so this would be something quick and easy that she could just grab along with these. Now, these came from... Um, from the dollar store. So we'll get into that in just a minute. But let me show you what else I got from Aldi. So I got this triple chocolate cream cake. Oh my God, y'all, this cake is so good. But um, I did, pur I purchased this. This is for mainly me and my boyfriend. Ashton doesn't really like chocolate a lot. So, but I, when you know, you know us ladies, when it's that time, we be craving for, you know, chocolate. So y'all, I always get something that I know I'm going to need when that time comes. And then I picked up this bag of cheddar and sour cream potato chips um, that we can grab with a sandwich or something. Um, so let, let me show y'all what I picked up from Dollar General and Family Dollar. So that's everything that I had picked up from all these. And then I picked up these. I picked up three of these here. These are pizza snack rolls. They're $1.25 each at uh, Family Dollar. And this is just quick and easy too. Um, if, she, you know, Ashley wants something quick or if I'm cooking something for dinner, if she doesn't want it, then she can pop this into my, in the oven. Y'all, and I have to do that because Ashley is, like I said, she getting more and more picky on foods and she got to eat. So, and I, I'm not going to cook two separate dinners. So, she, if you don't want it, you get something out of the deep freezer and if there ain't nothing in the deep freezer, you don't eat. Uh, I'm from the old school. I grew up in the times where if you don't cook with mom, you don't eat what mom and daddy fixed and you don't eat but i do get a little couple things like this so you got choices if you don't if you don't like them choices you don't eat i guess but anyway uh got these pepsis for bay he likes pepsi y'all so i did pick up this six pack um i don't really drink a lot of soda every once in a while i'll get one so but I, i'm not a big soda drinker and i don't really buy a lot of drinks you guys but the drinks that I have here, once they gone, they gone until I get, you know, go grocery shopping again in two weeks. So, um, yeah, I picked up a can of salmon, y'all. Salmon, 
this right here, you know, do y'all cook breakfast sometimes for dinner? Because that's a good choice, too. Sometimes I don't really feel like cooking it. And I'll come home from work and I'll make dinner. So I, I like salmon. So uh, we can make, we can have some scrambled salmon and grits one night. Or salmon, uh, uh, salmon, scrambled salmon or salmon croquet patties or and grits and maybe some toast or something. Uh, this is something I do. I like to cook dinner, uh, breakfast for dinner sometimes. Because I don't typically eat breakfast, but hey, I like it for dinner because I don't like to always come in the house and cook after work. I picked up these Gatorades for Ashton. Um, Ashton, <laughs> she's not a big water drinker, so I try to pick up this to try to keep little mama hydrated because it's just, it's a battle trying to get this child to drink, drink, to drink water. So, I'm trying. You know, I even get the little flavor packs. I guess she's getting tired of them, so she ain't really been drinking them. But I do know that she's been drinking Gatorade, so I try to keep her, just at least keep her hydrated, y'all. Uh, from time to time, I be having an inkling for sweet tea, and so I don't really make a picture of it. So sometimes I'll just pick up something like this. So I picked up me some lemon sweet tea. This is, my, this is really one of my favorite uh, sweet teas. Or the Lipton Peach Tea. What's y'all favorite tea? Do y'all like that Gold Peak Tea? I, I think Gold Peak is okay. But I really like Lipton. Um, Lipton brand. Lipton or this wrist tea right here. Okay, so. Yeah, we're getting into the junk over here in a minute. The mo junk. I then I picked up this here. To go with some of the stuff that I already have for size. Some cheddar and broccoli rice. I'm not a big rice eater, but I will eat this type of rice, y'all. Do y'all like this rice? It's cheddar and broccoli. This is a dollar at Dollar General. Okay, well, let's get into some junk over here. So, we got, everybody always got to keep some type of junk in their house. Like I said, we on spring break. We're going to be at the house eating and snacking. So, I picked up these uh, peanuts roasted and salted in the shell peanuts. Sometimes I just want to munch on something. So, I like stuff like this. Then... I picked up this here. Um, tr the truth is, I don't eat a lot of candy because I have bad teeth. But every blue moon, I will want something. So I did pick up these um, Fruity Bash Jolly Ranchers. It's peach, strawberry, and um, pineapple in here. So this will last me for a while. I usually just hide the bag. So. And then um, I picked up, these are my favorite, y'all. I'm, I'm still a little old school. I grew up eating moon pies. Y'all new school people might not know nothing about no moon pies. But these are the mini moon pies. And these are the vanilla ones. I really only like vanilla. Do y'all like banana or chocolate? Holly at me in the comments if y'all like moon pies too. But yeah, so that's my haul, y'all. But I, I did want to share with you guys that times is hard so this is sixty dollars worth of food and basically what i did before i went to the store i checked out what i had in my deep freezer over there and then here's my pantry um i don't have a lot of um i don't have a lot of space here in my apartment so i had to buy this little thing here and i've had it for a couple of years it's just like a little utility closet excuse it it need a little wipe down but this is my pantry that I have here. It's a little bit messy, y'all. Please don't judge me. But, and this here is where I have a lot of condiments, canned goods, and tuna fishes, sauces, flour and sugar, and grits you see up in there. But so I came and I shopped this little area here first just to see what I have on hand, you guys. And then I'm going to just show y'all what I plan on cooking this I plan on cooking. I'm I'm trying to go back to grandma days where grandma made Sunday dinners and Sunday dinner lasted two or three days. So I did purchase this from I purchased this one from Walmart, but they have one comparable to this at Aldi's. It is a half a spiral ham, and that's what it looks like. This is a boneless spiral honey cured double glazed ham. And it actually comes with the little sauce pack. But I usually make my own sauce to go over this with pineapple juice and honey and brown sugar. So I'm going to make this ham, y'all. And I'm going to make a homemade macaroni. And I got some collard. I got a can of collard greens I'm going to open up. And I'm going to make that cornbread. And so a meal like that. And it's just me and Ashton and my boyfriend, which he may or may not eat with us. 
you know, because he, he, he picky in his own way about food. So, this right here, I'm going to cook it on Sunday, which is tomorrow. This will last us Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So, I don't, I, a meal like that big will last us for three days. So, um, I'm into that type of cooking. I don't like cooking every day. But I'm also trying to uh, spread my wealth out, my food out. So, um, yeah. So, if you enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments. Um, this is just something I do every blue moon. I don't usually do grocery hauls and stuff because I be very busy and on the go. But I just wanted to show y'all what I'm doing to keep my food costs down. And I will say this too because I talked about this on my Facebook. Um, so I'm trying to combat food costs as well as um, gas. I don't receive any food stamps. I do pay for food with cash. And I have a grocery budget of $300 or less for the whole month. Now I am a family of two. It's just me and my 10 year old daughter. And we typically eat outside of the house more than anything. I work for the school district as a custodian and she goes to school, you know, Monday through Friday and she gets free lunch and free breakfast. So my grocery budget is th less than $300 a month. Okay y'all. But, um, I'm just like anybody else. The struggle is real with these food prices. So, um, I, I shop at more than one store and all these is less than five minutes away from my house. And the Dollar General and Family Dollar was actually one minute from my house. So I didn't basically burn, I, I'm not saying I didn't burn any gas, but I burned less than a half, half of a gallon of gas going. So I just really went right up the street. I didn't even burn a gallon of gas going to the store. So that's good, but because I did want to go to Walmart, and Walmart is all across, it's 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 across town. So I would have burnt at least maybe four dollars worth of. I would would have burnt a gallon of gas going. So um, think about where you're going and where you need to go to to try to save on gas. Um, if you can make one trip out instead of two or three trips, do that. That's what I do. Um, and I re I work really close to my job. I work five minutes from my job. So, uh, Monday through Friday, I just go to work and come home. My daughter rides the school bus to and from school. Her after school is, um, 500 feet from my house, literally. And like I said, I work five minutes from my house. And so this morning is Saturday. I got up and I went, um, less than five minutes up the street to the store and then i went to the dollar general and family dollar and that was less than a minute from my house as well so i, I learned how to cut my costs on food and gas by planning so it, and it just took a little bit of planning because i didn't write nothing down i just looked at what i had in my refrigerator and my pantry before i went so that's that i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments how are y'all um fighting inflation what are y'all doing to save in this time of inflation for gas and groceries i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you in the next video